giving this first speech, that's an icebreaker, and it's a very important speech. Objective of the speech is to start speaking in front of audience. And his introduction is something like that. Sorry, the, it will be evaluated by Marianne Burroughs DTM. Look at this. this. David Schiff is giving his first speech. Marianne has done DTM. DTM is the highest position or the highest grade in the book. Go well, easy. <laughs> so you can see the, how, how that goes. Here goes the introduction. David Schiff is one of our newest members of the Toast, AG Toastmaster Club. He didn't want to share too many details introducing himself. As such is the purpose of this speech today. However, he is a big fan of Indiana University basketball, University of Alabama football, and trying to the best of his ability to be a fan of Cleveland sports, to be a Cleveland sports fan. His speech will be timed four to six minutes, and speech title is Because It's Winter, Because It's Winter, David Sheep. And it was icebreaker because it's winter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow members, and guests. So, how do you define yourself? Well, I mean, it could be by what you own, by where you live, or other demographic information. And if you own like a Lamborghini, you're really cool. But that's beside the point. In my opinion, I believe it's something more. I believe it's values, or ways that you live your life by, morals. So for me, first and foremost, is family. And so, even though I actually grew up born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama, deep south. I actually followed in my parents' footsteps and I attended Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana, which I love sharing that connection with them of IU basketball, of just being a Hoosier in general. My two sisters didn't take the same approach. Karen, my oldest, actually went to Georgia, stayed south, and now works uh, for HBO in Atlanta which is exactly as cool a job as it sounds. She is an account manager, she gets to go to all sorts of premieres, uh, like Game of Thrones, True Blood, it's cool. <laughs> Julie, fresh out of law school, UVA, has a, uh, actually a really great job with a big firm back home. And while obviously they set the bar very high, I'm pretty proud of them. But there's another side of having two sisters and being the youngest. Being the only boy means that I have made every single mistake with women possible. <laughs> Just ask my girlfriend. Uh, and I will continue to make every single mistake possible, but that's just because I'm a guy. Also, it means that I have seen more chick flicks than most of you guys. And by guys, I don't mean guys, I mean everyone. Every now and then I do get a little bit of an allergy and maybe my eyes water a little bit. It's purely allergies. Now. Another important value for me is actually the importance of self-improvement, recognizing that. And that's actually the reason why I'm here in this club. I enjoy speaking, but I know I can improve. I definitely know I can improve, and Marianne will tell me I can improve today. <laughs> but it's because I'm my own worst enemy. I always rewrite what I work. I always am very critical of what I do. This was maybe the third or fourth draft of my speech today. The others were a little bad, in my opinion. <laughs> so the goal of me being in Toastmasters is for me to stop being my own worst enemy and for you guys to be my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like it's important to, every day, focus on what you can improve on and realize how to go forward. And that actually comes up on my final point, which is to enjoy life, to not take life seriously, because, you know, no one gets out alive. And that being said, that's not supposed to be cynical, but rather the contrary. Life is meant to be enjoyed, and that's how I try to live it. Uh, and I do definitely have 
plenty of stories to say, which we'll go into the next speeches. But I will just recap, who am I? I'm someone who values friends. I'm someone who values family. I'm someone who values hard work. I'm someone who appreciates that in life you can't take yourself seriously and that you just sometimes have to embrace the stupid things that you do. Who else am I? I'm someone who has crashed a bachelor party in England and got invited to a wedding. <laughs> but that's actually a story for another time and another speech. Thank you very much. Mr. Toastmaster. Cool.